the completion of the first of its kind trigen system at Toyota's port of Long Beach operations has been announced by Fuel Cell Energy Incorporation FCEL and Toyota Motor North America Incorporation Toyota. The trigen system, owned and run by Fuel Cell Energy, creates water from focused biogas as well as sustainable hydrogen and energy. Toyota has a 20-year purchasing agreement in place with Fuel Cell Energy for the supply of trigen products. Trigen is a demonstration of Fuel Cell Energy's capacity to scale hydrogen-powered fuel cell technology, which is becoming an increasingly significant energy solution in the worldwide drive to cut carbon emissions. Trigen exemplifies the types of innovative and risk-taking investments the company is making as part of its environmental sustainability strategy and will allow Toyota Logistics Services TLS, Long Beach to become the company's first port vehicle processing facility powered by on-site generated 100% renewable energy. TLS Long Beach will pave the way for our company by utilizing only renewable hydrogen and electricity production, said Chris Reynolds, Chief Administrative Officer, Toyota. Together, Toyota and Fuel Cell Energy have built a facility of the highest caliber that will support Toyota's efforts to reduce its carbon footprint. The good news is that this practical example can be replicated in many locations across the world. Fuel Cell Energy is committed to helping our customers surpass their clean energy goals, said Jason Few, CEO of Fuel Cell Energy. Toyota is making a strong statement about the benefits of hydrogen-based energy for industry, local communities, and the environment by partnering with Fuel Cell Energy. We are incredibly happy to demonstrate the intricacy and adaptability of our fuel cell technology and to help Toyota fulfill its environmental obligations. Toyota's port facilities and operations are supported by Trigen through an electrochemical process that transforms directed renewable biogas into electricity, hydrogen, and usable water with a highly efficient combustion-free process that virtually emits no air pollutants, Fuel Cell Energy's cutting-edge fuel cell technology will support Toyota's operations at the port. Trigen generates 2.3 megawatts of clean energy, some of which will be exported by TLS Long Beach to support its operations at the port, which handle about 200,000 new Toyota and Lexus cars every year. In addition to providing hydrogen to the nearby heavy-duty hydrogen refueling station to support TLS logistics and drayage operations at the port, the Fuel Cell Energy Trigen system has a daily production capacity of up to 1,200 kilograms of hydrogen, which will be sufficient to fuel TLS Long Beach's incoming light-duty fuel cell electric vehicle, FCEV, the Mirai. Depending on needs and requirements, hydrogen production can be increased and decreased. TLS Long Beach will employ the daily co-generation of 1,400 gallons of water from Trigen's hydrogen manufacturing process to run car wash operations for vehicles that arrive at the port before being delivered to customers. This will assist in reducing water consumption from the limited local water supply by about 500,000 gallons annually. Trigen's carbon neutral products are anticipated to lessen more than 9,000 tons of carbon monoxide by assisting TLS operations at the port of Long Beach. Each year's emissions from the electrical grid. The CEO of the port of Long Beach, Mario Cardero, stated that renewable hydrogen is a crucial fuel for the port's future and that of the shipping sector. Trigen will also help to avoid more than six tons of grid NOx emissions, which are harmful to both people and the environment, as well as having the potential to reduce diesel consumption by more than 420,000 gallons per year. The renewable hydrogen generated by the Trigen system that Toyota commissioned, and similar projects, is part of our multi-strategy approach to help fuel the transition of equipment like locomotives, harbourcraft, cargo handling equipment, and trucks to zero emissions. The California Bioenergy Market Adjustment Tariff Biomat, program will distribute any excess energy that TLS does not utilize to the nearby utility, Southern California Edison, offering a renewable, dependable, and reasonably priced baseload power generation supply to the electrical grid. Despite its new EV focus, why Toyota isn't giving up on hydrogen technology, Toyota is focusing on creating more electric vehicles but the company highlighted that it is not prepared to mothball its investment in hydrogen technology after making significant resource investments in the field. CEO Koji Sato states in a report, we want to make sure that hydrogen remains a viable choice. Making hydrogen a practical alternative to gasoline, diesel, and electricity is easier said than done, 
regardless of whether it is burnt in an internal combustion engine or used to produce power. In order to put more hydrogen-powered vehicles on the road, Sato understood that a production and transportation supply chain is necessary, and the lack of such infrastructure in virtually every country continues to be a significant barrier. He stated in a study that we cannot expect a volume increase in the energy use unless evolution is shown in that area. Also optimistic about hydrogen is the Japanese government. According to the same research, lawmakers anticipate that by 2025 and 2030, there will be 200,000 and 800,000 fuel cell-powered automobiles, respectively, on American roadways. To achieve this goal, more refueling facilities are being planned across Japan. Currently, the country has around 160 stations, and by 2030, the network is expected to have roughly 900. This is according to Toyota. Toyota's ambition is supported by Yasuhiko Hashimoto, president of Kawasaki Heavy Industries, who also outlined how his company is helping to make hydrogen practical. It is creating a ship that will be able to transport 128 times more liquefied hydrogen than the vessels that will be navigating the seas in 2023. By 2030, increasing the size of the ship should enable a 30 cent per cubic meter reduction in the price of hydrogen. Hashimoto emphasized that hydrogen might also be a practical substitute for trucks, buses, railroads, and construction machinery, in addition to automobiles. Another prominent supporter of hydrogen is BMW, which is notable for having a joint partnership with Toyota. It debuted the iX5 prototype, an X5-based hydrogen electric vehicle, earlier in 2023. This vehicle was created for a pilot project. According to BMW, hydrogen is best suited for larger automobiles, however noted that the technology would also be effective in large machinery like ships and airplanes. While Honda and General Motors are also collaborating, Hyundai has also dedicated a significant amount of time and resources to hydrogen development. Toyota is currently working on a specific platform for electric vehicles that will be ready in 2026. According to the business, the architecture is being designed to keep costs in mind and unlock better performance than the current generation of EVs are capable of. What role will hydrogen automobiles play in the future? Hydrogen is a fuel that must be considered for completely sustainable transportation. It is also thought of as a potential substitute for refueling HGVs, since electric trucks are constrained by their battery capacity and must use the power grid to recharge. The major drawback is that it will cost billions of pounds and take several years to build a complete hydrogen refueling infrastructure where the gas is manufactured and then transported to stations. Building recharging stations for hydrogen cars alone would not be an effective way to promote them. Instead, they must be integrated into a larger hydrogen economy. As a result, in an ideal world, hydrogen would be used throughout the entire energy spectrum, from fueling automobiles to storing energy for homes. The ability for on-site production of hydrogen over transportation of it, like gasoline or grid-supplied energy, is another advantage of the gas. However, even with local or national hydrogen infrastructure in place, the cost of hydrogen vehicles remains a problem. The Toyota Mirai has a starting price of more over £50,000. That is a lot to pay for any automobile, but as with electric vehicles, costs should start to decline as technology advances and becomes more widely used. Hydrogen still has a lot of ifs, but there are a lot less now than there were 10 years ago. And so, what would you rather have, a hydrogen-powered car or an electric vehicle? Share your thoughts in the comment box below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.